the Lucid Air is still a really good looking car. I say still good looking because this was probably designed in 2016. Remember, the Lucid Air made its global debut at the New York Auto Show in 2017. And yet, for a design that's probably five or six years old, it still looks more modern than just about everything on the road today. Clearly, aerodynamics played a key role in the design of this car. One thing you'll notice, and you'll see this on so many cars these days, is what they call these air curtains. They're slots on the outer edges of uh, the front fascia that exhaust out the slot that's inside the wheel well. And the reason that they do that is because when the wheels turn, they create so much turbulence and those air curtains directing air across the outside edge of the wheels helps really smooth out the airflow as it goes through the car. You'll also notice that there are these slots on either edge of the hood on this vehicle and they pick up air from underneath this front bright work, the, the front lip, and exhaust it out over the top of the hood, probably for better airflow that way, keeping it contacted with the hood. And that's why uh, this thing is so sleek looking. Another thing that I really like on this is how they scalloped out the rocker on the bottom of the car, how it kicks up there. It gives the car much more of a Coke bottle look and reduces the visual mass of the side of the car. Really like how they treated the roof here, slightly off color, a little bit gray, but it's so soft looking, not the angular or hard edge things that we see on so many other vehicles. And notice on the trailing edge of the roof here, these, these notches that come out. I think it's just a nice little design touch on the vehicle. The rear end, very clean looking. And one of the reasons why is you'll notice that the cut lines for the trunk are on the side of the vehicle, not on the rear. And it really cleans up the way this thing looks. Audi does that on some vehicles. Uh, Lincoln does it as well. But very few vehicles uh, or automakers choose to put the cut lines on the rear of the ve uh, on the side of the vehicle. They have it on the rear instead. Inside, the Lucid Air is a much more inviting looking, warmer looking than what you'll see on a Tesla Model S, for example. Much nicer use of materials and not that stark, austere look that that you're going to see on a Tesla. You'll also notice that they've got this this glass roof that gives a great visual impact, very similar to the, the Tesla Model X. And the rear seat passengers also get that same big glass look. Let's take a look uh, inside this vehicle. What I'm going to take a look at here right now is turn down the radio and go to openings. Let's look at the front and at the little door that opens up. That's where you plug the thing in. Frunk is uh, not all that big, but it's actually bigger than it looks because once you lift up this panel, there's a whole lot more room for, for stowing things. So overall, very attractive vehicle. Not only is it going to turn heads, I think it's going to affect the way that other cars get designed.